Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So we're gonna talk about activating the wheel of the pelvis, right? That crucial understanding of what is posterior, what is anterior, what is neutral. And so I like to use the reformer for this because the reformer can mimic the movement of the pelvis and just give them more feedback proprioceptively. So we'll do this with no springs. So you want to carefully bring your client into the well and have them sit right at the edge of the carriage. And then the feet are flat, knees are aligned with the heels, and their hands are just gently resting, not pushing or pulling, but just resting on top of the foot bar. If you need to move the foot bar closer, I have super long arms, you can do that to adjust for your client. But we start right on top of the sitting bones. And then what I want them to do is to use the pelvis to draw the carriage in slightly. That's their posterior tilt. And then come back just to neutral. So they're using the bowl and the wheel of the pelvis to draw the carriage in. And it's tiny movement. And then lengthen back up. This light touch helps them to stay connected through their upper body so they're not collapsing and they should feel a lot of deep core work as they work here. And then you would do the opposite. So you'd have them sweep the carriage out from the wheel of the pelvis again, rolling towards the front of the sitting bones and then back to center. So the carriage moving or not moving is your clue. Are they really initiating from the rocking horse runners of their sitting bones or are they doing it from somewhere else higher up in the spine? And then you could curl, sweep the carriage forward, climb to neutral, arch, sweep the carriage back, climb to neutral. And as I'm working here, ooh, I feel lots of work in my deep belly, my deep core, and I'm getting really good movement in the arc of my pelvis. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.